Holy cow, this is one of the most important things you can learn in this class. Magnetic fields do no work. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to scream it. Magnetic fields do no work. No work. Magnetic fields do no work. I'm serious. Magnetic fields do no work. It's like unreal, right? Like I'm telling you that there's this magnetic field. It's going to cause a force and that's going to cause shit to happen to your particles. But no work. Pretty intense stuff. Let's do a quick dirty proof. Chapter 8, there's a little bit more of a detailed proof. All right. So let's start with the equation for the work. Work is equal to the integral of F dot dl, right? All right, well, what's f? Well, for the magnetic field, this is going to be q v cross b, right? That's just the magnetic force. And dl, we're going to write in a weird way. We're going to say that dl is v dt. Let's prove that. Right? The velocity is equal to dl over dt. Right? If I'm changing my path, right, the, it, right that's going to be the, the change in my path over the change of time. Hey, that's what velocity is. So to solve this, I just cry chop that thing and multiply, and you get dl is equal to v dt. Woohoo! All right, so I plug that in, right? And that gives me some ridiculous vector quantity, right? So um, QD times DT is equal to V cross B dot V. Okay, so this is some like scalar mumbo jumbo. We'll have to look at it. All right, so there's a ton of ways to do this. I would just look at this and spin it. And I would immediately see that v cross v is zero. But let's let's do a let's do a proof. Let's define our coordinate system so that v vector is equal to v k. So right, I can define whatever coordinate system so that at the moment I look at the velocity that I'm interested at, at that moment that velocity is going in the k-hat direction of the coordinate system that I defined. We cool? The magnetic field could be anything. Right? So the magnetic field is bx i-hat plus byj hat plus bz k-hat. Anything. Okay. So let's do this dot product. So we have if we look at this, we can restructure it. It's a triple product, right? So if I look at a triple product, this is a determinant. So I have i hat, j hat, k hat. My v is only going to exist on the k hat term. And then b, I have bx, by, bz. Right? And then I'm going to dot that into V K hat. So what that's going to do is it's going to make this the item that I have of the triple product being a determinant, ultimately giving me a scalar. All right, and so one of the ways I can do this, if I just go down this line, you get zero. If I go down that line, plus zero. And if I go down that line, you get zero. If I go here, you start with a zero. Here, I definitely get zero, I get two zeros. And if I go here, I get the middle zero, plus zero. I mean, these really should be minuses. Right? So minus zero, minus zero, minus zero. Zero plus zero plus zero minus zero minus zero minus zero. 
ooh, me have no cookies, and then me have no more cookies, and me have no cookies, then me eat no cookies, then me eat no more cookies, then me eat cookie no more, me have no cookies, right? So then this is zero. So what that basically is saying is, is that this quantity in the integral is zero. So it doesn't matter, you're gonna do some integral, but you're integrating zero. So the whole thing becomes zero. There is no work done by magnetic fields. No work done by magnetic fields.